And now it is time for Lucky Number 13 Part on Resident Evil the Remake. Or it could be 12, but I'm banking on 13. And if it's not 13, you can say, You are a doo 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 head. You, you can blame me because I couldn't remember what part we're on. I don't know uh, what part. Either. I decided we should start here. We were in a save room, but I figured this would be optimal just because turns out we have to go here, which is all new to the remake. Ooh. This wasn't in the original game. What kind of key do we need? Uh, we need a. Uh, we, we need. need we need these things. See, we could go to the store. We could. We could uh, interact with it. We would have heard a moan, but we a couldn't moan. open it until now. Is it a scary moan or a? Uh... Pleasurable moment. Uh, it's scary. Mm -hmm. it's scary. I wonder what's on the other side of the door. So we do that. We open this up, and it just, mm -hmm. you know, I have to ask Jess, what do you think's gonna be in here? A surprise birthday party for Chris. Oh, I wish. I wish that would be amazing. That would make my day. That would make Chris's day. I feel. Every, all his friends are there. Even the guys who he thought were dead. They're there, actually. Let's see. Because I practiced and I'm not as dumb as you think I would be. Make sure you have the medals. If you don't, you're gonna you're gonna be sad. Actually, now that I think about it, there is one more thing I can do to cut time. And that is... Um. I actually don't need Shoddy right now. Shoddy, shoddy is good. I like Shoddy, but... Uh, I can actually degrade back down to handgun, and that'll well, that'll that'll be fine. Now I have another question for you, Jez. Okay. Were you ready to start the part out with a boss fight? No. Well, let me tell you what we got going on. It's a birthday party. I already said it was. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. A birthday party. Actually, we have probably, in my opinion, the easiest boss fight, but you can also easily die in this fight. Ready? Here's all the candles. They're all candles <laughs> for lighting for the birthday cake. Actually, we get a cutscene. Right about now. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. So we got we got Lisa. Remember remember? She's all about that soldier boy cranking it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, you we actually we actually have to birthday. fight We actually have to fight her. Now if you're not careful, if you stand by the edges, she can knock you off the ledge and you will instantly die. She's I did it in shift. a failed recording. It was not fun. But it's also what I said, the easiest boss fight, because we just beat it. We just had the whole shift on the edge. <laughs> she just wanted her mommy. She was down there the whole time. Oh. Wesker. Hey, Wesker. I'll investigate this area a little further. He's so, going to investigate the area. Yeah. You know, I have to wonder, how can he shoot accurately with those shades on? Those shades are actually, like, futuristic. So, it, like, targets for him. They're aviators. That has nothing to do with the fact that it still would make it any easier so, for him to shoot. You said that's new to the game? Yeah, that whole area is new to the game. So how do you fight her? Or do you not fight her in the original? Uh, she does not exist in the original. Oh. I mean, uh, Lisa, I think, exists in the original because George Trevor is still... I think there's still some files. I can't remember off the top of my bat. Sorry, I'm uh, not... and Sorry, I'm not, like, a super Resident Evil fan. I just remember... That was oh, always so, a thing. So she's just kind of a mention thing. She's not. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Monster. Like, uh, it, like I know George Trevor. I'm, I'm positive he's like in the original game. There's like I think he has a, his diary is in the game, and I think he does drop Jessica and Lisa. But 
uh, yeah, as far as Lisa goes, she's not actually in the game. Like, the whole experimentation okay. was introduced in this game. And honestly, I yeah. think they did a pretty good job with that. I thought it was... Yeah. I thought it was kind of neat how they added that. Yeah, that's a good addition. That also sucks for George. He wanted them to be safe. <laughs> They're not safe. We're safe now. In death. <laughs> Rest in peace. So we got a sign, will not open unless the first class emergency. You're not saying it right, it's all in caps, that means you gotta yell it. I'm not gonna yell. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna. Man, oh man. Okay, okay. we got, we got a safe room. The safe room is good. It's, it's full of hopes and dreams. It's full of my hopes and dreams. The only thing you can collect is an ink ribbon. I'm not going to save. I don't need to save. I probably should, but I, I feel confident in my abilities. I can I can do this. I do want that, though. I feel confident in your abilities to also do something. I, ha I also have a confession, Chaz. What's your confession? I need as I much room as possible. That's what makes this whole part difficult. This I, upcoming... Um... This... this further along in the part. However, I can best praise that. The rest of the part. There we go. Also, we got a kerosene thing. We can fill our canteen. And we got zombies. Man, oh man. So, oh, I don't... Yet? What? Is he dead yet? Uh, well, he's he's a zombie. You know. Well, is he, is he re-dead? Uh, that is a good question. Well, if they bleed <laughs> on the ground, they... Oh, this one's stubborn. Now, in my practice runs, I got lucky a couple times. I managed to actually get a crit and explode their heads. Like that! I, I was about to say, you know, because this is this is the actual recording, it's not gonna happen, but, uh... Man, oh man. Thank good god way. I was wrong in that one regard. Now, here's a question. You burn the zombies. This, that, that, we, we know that. But, how? Like, it's not exactly like human flesh isn't super flammable. How much oil is he using in that little container? No, uh, that is a great question because... I guess a lot. Well, I mean, my question is how big is the canteen? Because when I it think canteen, you know, I big. think, I think like, you know, flask, you know, like, yeah, or like something along the lines that that's very handheld size. Yeah. And it's two servings. So that's, that's further interesting in terms of, yeah, how much does he ration? Now, I think you do have to suspend your belief a little bit because it is a video game. So it is one of those things where you can think about it as logically as possible, but there is that video game logic where it's video game magic yeah you I'm can just try and, how, and rationalize how much oil, it how, just how much oil is he using because to make a fire that big you would have to use quite a bit i would assume i mean first off you see how the floor is wet that too that would definitely hinder a fire right so but let, let's pretend it's not. Let's pretend we're in the mansion where it's all safe and dry and you have one yeah. of the regular zombies. Now, I guess the idea is uh, may, maybe their skin's just a little bit dry or something like that. So it's easier to light it on fire. You just need you need you need to start it, which the kerosene definitely helps. I'll give you that. Uh, you know what? When I turned into a zombie in the zombie handbook, um... I, uh, I read that all zombies must consume, like, a gallon of flammable gasoline. I mean, they die, like, there's also they the fact that we have our natural oils that are produced by the human body. Yeah, I excrete that oil when I die. We all excrete that oil when we die. I oh. excrete it more than anybody else. Did I get a two for, oh, did, I, did I kill both of them? I don't think I can burn both of them, despite the fact that they're, like, on top of each other. Yeah. That is definitely video game logic right there. Just make a max grave and just throw all the zombies. Oh, I would love to make a zombie bonfire. That would help my cause 
super, super. Oh, a dagger. Yeah, I got one of those self defense daggers. Okay, let's see. I need. Sad to say, I need more kerosene. I mean, it's true. You did have to use a lot. I mean, granted, I did. I did, uh. I did manage to get a crit on one, and that did save me the fact of using, like, a little bit of kerosene. Had I not. I still would have been okay because I believe the tank that we got over here has at least two uses, so has two more doses. Too much, two more do doses. Of oh, actually, I food. guess it's three. But my point is, I would have had plenty in order to like do what I need to do. Because, uh, spoiler alert, we have one more zombie that I really have to contend with and possibly burn. I'd rather be safe on that one regard. Right, right. Now, something I wanted to bring up, and I'm glad I actually remembered. In the original, there was actually naked zombies at this point. Ooh, and naked. it didn't matter how many you killed, they would just constantly respawn. That was that was why it was dif difficult with the naked zombies. They weren't they weren't ex particularly hard to take down. They were just numerous. Right. So it's like, no matter how hard you tried, they just constantly keep responding in that little hallway, and so that was that was annoying. And also, you can you can you can actually see that because I I did the original Resident Evil. You can see the naked Resident Evil zombies. They don't exist in this game, but they did back then. Well, back then we were more open about our nudity well it wasn't just that i mean you gotta understand it's not like you're gonna see any junk not gonna see any genitalia it's not yes. it's not like that they got they got like you know ron flesh and uh barbie doll anatomy but that's that's basically it uh. yeah you might you might see you might see a butt <gasps> Ooh. yeah but again, you can't tell gender. I'd, I'd presume they're all males, but eh, whatever. Um, also, this is going to help us solve a puzzle. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in mm. alphabetical order. Oh, look at you that. might you might be wondering if they're referring to the names because you can see Alec Beck. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And you know that that's kind of cool. There's two missing, but if you look over here, you got Ed Fisher. Oh, Ed. And we picked up two X-rays. We got this one. We're gonna we're gonna use it. And as you can see, you got David Clark. So, are, are you starting to are you starting to see the picture? Are you starting uh, to get the idea? You got Alex Beck, David or Clark, David, A, Ed B, C, Fisher, D, D, F. And then you got, uh, got this one, Gal Holland. Ooh, G-H. So now it's in alphabetical order. You might be thinking, well, that's all fine and dandy, but what am I supposed to do about all this? Well, we, we got a fun researcher letter. There's more to this, but I'll, I'll explain that. First, we're going to read it. Now, now, Chaz, do you, do you want to be John? John? Yeah, that's the name of the person writing this letter. Do you want to be about, John? I want to be Papa John. Okay. So, researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last remaining person alive, I want you to get the material from Visual Data Room. Then, activate self-destruct system in the power room, and escape from here. Please, do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, 
you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I've set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in to the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. A... <laughs> that! Aerogram? Aerogenogram? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know you. I, n I know you. And I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing. And it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, Papa John. <laughs> He's making the pizza. He, he made the pizza as a zombie. Yeah, John and Ada. Now, I want to explain something that's very interesting about John and Ada. Uh, we actually see Ada in Resident Evil 2. Is it Ada Wong? It is Ada Wong. Oh, so he's talking to her. Yeah, that's actually her boyfriend. So, Deceased. So now the interesting thing about this is you kind of see glowing red parts. Hmm, just like... Just like what I have on Sunday. Yeah. Now, if you look carefully, you'll you'll see. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a look at that, and you're supposed to take a look at this. You see how it's all labeled out? Yes. You match them, and then it, what it turns out is the you got a colon, you got an esophagus, a liver, and lungs that are glowing. And so you have to, and what it's saying is the initial of every letter. So what what do you, it actually spells something out? Jazz. Can you figure it out? The initial of every letter or every name? You... Every letter of the thing glowing. It's the colon, the esophagus, the liver, and lungs. Perfect cell? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, that's the password? It, it, yeah, it's cell. I just cut. No, it's it's Lex L <laughs> L E C L. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You 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 knew it. What what or, it even is? Maybe it's Spanish and it has the double L in the beginning. I guess I guess that's possible. I can actually see like, that. Le 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 Let's see, I need... You got magnum rounds. I did, I did. I'm gonna need those. They're on a speed loader. Let's see, I'm gonna examine this. You got another first aid kit. Mm, that's raccoon first aid herb. Kit. That's, a, that's a green raccoon herb. Yeah, we're just gonna combine that with that. There we go, we got a massive pile of healing. Green. I gotta be honest, I, I have stockpiled so much healing that if I have to... For the room, I'm gonna use it. That's fair. I mean, because I can, I can pretty much just after after seeing that movie, you might want to have to heal up. Oh, I, I'm not sure Ooh. if I'm ready for this, but I might as well get out of the way. So the login was John's name, Papa John. Yeah. Now, if I can remember how to spell it, and I should, because it I turns it's out it's actually my middle name. I think it's J O O N. <laughs> June. Yeah. There we the go. password is uh, Ada. A D A L E X X X Q. Oh, permission denied. See, you did it wrong. See, you didn't put what I was just saying. Actually, this is where you put in that clever little puzzle that I was talking about, which is cell. You have to access the th I mean, this computer looks like it's from the early 2000s. Uh, I believe the time setting of this game is 1998. Yeah, it's right before my birthday. Yeah. July 24th, so we actually have a whole date right there. It's right before my birthday, man. 
all this horrible stuff happened. And I was just at home probably watching Pokemon. Well, I mean, you weren't living in Raccoon City, so, you know. There's, uh, all there's... this went under my nose. Yeah. Well, I mean, how could you know any differently? Because, you know, again, you didn't live in Raccoon City. How were you supposed to be like, oh, man, remember that incident? You know, the funny thing is, I used to think when they were talking about Raccoon City, it was in Colorado, but then I realized they, they I don't believe they actually did give a state or, like, an, a direct location where Raccoon City is. You know it's kind of like Springfield, right. where it's just, like, it could... Any any real small town that kind of has, like, big corporation move in. I think you're right. I am missing something, so I apologize for eating everyone's time. I thought... It was somewhere here. Or, uh, um, you know what? It's this, isn't it? It, yeah. The Act. The Act. Okay, this is something special that they introduced in this game. But it's, it's really the just Act. flavor text to explain a process, if you will. So, V Act. I'll, I'll do this one. Yeah, yeah. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy after mm. transformation it becomes more agile and aggressive. They're talking about Crimson Heads, by the way. The V-Act. Yeah. Uh, already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. See? See? <gasps> Name drop! They're oh, Crimson Heads. Crimson Heads? Yeah, it's basically so zombies, after a while, they turn into Crimson Heads. It's through the process of the act. Uh, oh, the... That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option, because they gotta research it. We decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. So this was basically the thing we fought in the coffin with the death oh. masks. Yeah. That's that's what we did there. And okay, that was that was what I was missing. Good, I'm glad. So now the question is what, what did I unlock and where do I have to go? And one answer is I need to go in there. I actually do have enough kerosene. That's good. I don't know if I have enough room, but that's okay. I'm going to actually have to go back into the room that I'm about to go into, so... No worries there. Anyways. If I wanted anyway. to, I could really... I have planned this a little bit better, but that's okay. I, again, I have to go back into this room at some point. And also, there's a zombie. <laughs> well, that took oh. care of that. Yeah. Here, I was thinking, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to burn the body so it doesn't come back. Nope, just bam, dead. That's that's fine with me. Oh, do you want to do the facts? I will do fa facts, facsimile. I'm okay. going to read the facsimile. Everybody. Okay. To the sanitation division, attention manager of sanitation, from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. <clears throat> the contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. That means we shouldn't be reading this. We shouldn't, but we're going to. Any any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. Ooh. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Well, this they is did the a top bad secret. job with that. They did a horrible job with this. Well, they just left <clears throat> it. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus's outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. 
More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It has been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. So, you know, everyone's dead. That's a, that's a pretty big concern. Yeah. Second concern. Our secret security patrol team has been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Uh-oh. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. Well, wow. We're actually going to see some of these specimens. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. So, I, I don't Kill. know if you're ready to, to actually see what we have to do. Actually, so, the, re the special whatever team... Or whatever. Stars? And the, sec the second concern. Oh, the second concern. The so special the team that's eradicated. Yeah. Oh, the specimens. Yeah. We're actually gonna... No, not the specimens. The team that's supposed to defend the... Oh, the security team. Yeah. Is that who you play as in Operation Raccoon City? Uh... Or is yes. that somebody else? I mean, I think it's like a different unit, but, um... Pretty much... That's what I thought, because I thought they were the, uh, the Yeah, the I mean, Hunk's like their prime operative, and the thing is, like, that's kind of what a lot of the security force looks like. Oh. Like, Hunk's model. I mean, like, if you go to Resident Evil 2, that's like the actual design. It's just Hunk so ends up surviving. He's like the only survivor of that security force. So they're like a cross between German military and cyberpunk. Yeah, that, that's probably a good way to describe it. <laughs> People, are, they're just short headphones, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bright neon blue headphones. What's that that you just grabbed? I missed it. Uh, it looks like a chewing tobacco. Oh. This? Yeah. That's a slide. It slides. Oh, oh. 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 Looks like chewing tobacco. I think I'm just gonna store my gun for the time being, cause I need I need space. I need room. You need my space. <laughs> Tom's waiting. For, Tom's waiting for me. Man, my space is ancient, bro. No, in this game, it's a fresh new concept. Is it? It's I don't even I don't even know if it's been invented yet. It might be in its very early stages. I don't, I don't even think it existed at this point. I'm gonna have to find that out. What year MySpace was invented? I, I feel I feel like it was like uh, more in the 2000s. I'm looking it up. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. 2003. That's what I thought. Still a little too too early for that, but that's not important. What's important is I gotta collect all these goodies. You see you see all this stuff? I gotta collect it. We got security protocols. You see, level one, heliport for ex 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 exclusive executive executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Hmm. Basement level one. Passage to the heliport. Entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Authorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. I gotta be honest. I, I would be that guy that's like, oh, can I, can I go on the heliport? Oh, man. It's exciting. I go on the heliport and then get run over by a helicopter. Like well, no, no, no. I mean, that's... I'd be, I'd be accompanying. What is it like a, a consultant researcher or chief of security? Oh, you'd be the guy holding the gun that helps the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'd be walker. like so excited to just be like, oh man, this is. I never go here because it's always off limits. Mm, all right, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of, I think I might 
almost do that. Yeah, I, w- I like inside, like outside, you'd have to be all stern, but inside, you'd be all giddy, like like some kind of schoolgirl or something. Yeah. yeah. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level two. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith? Kenneth? No, Keith. 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 Arving. Room manager. I don't like him. I already don't like him. Uh, prison sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker. A. A Wesker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Must be present if viral use is authorized. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's like Alex Wesker, like oh his brother, okay, or Alex. like no, it's probably just it's probably just a coincidence. Uh huh. Triple uh-huh. locked door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive out put terminals located in each section of the senior researchers each section of the senior research what the terminals located in, okay all right whatever deactivates the lock um i'll go into more details how that actually happens because it's worded a little funny maybe i'm reading it wrong but power room in this room nitro compound which means you know it explodes is used as the primary fuel source of power access mm. is limited to headquarters supervisors this restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. interesting yeah pass code output terminals Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Basement level 4 regarding the progress of tyrants. After the administration of the T-virus, eligible hereafter. So, uh, we're, we're being fed all these things about the tyrant, but we have no idea what the tyrant is. No. Also, you can know. actually use the slide projector without this. Oh. And, like, it, it'll still work perfectly. There's just one minor difference if you use it. Actually, there's two, but I'm just gonna... Oh, I think it's I think it's necessary because the thing is, I just have to angle myself and then I can use it. Now, it gives it kind of a weird filter. If I didn't do that, it, it would look a lot more normal. Mm-hmm. But we'd still mm-hmm. see all these slides. Right. So we got Umbrella, Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. Oh, okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for we it. Got, we got Cerberus. Oh, look, a doggy. Yeah, yeah, we got Cujo here. This this is what it's officially named and everything. Cerberus. We got Neptune, which are the oh. sharks. Remember the oh, sharks? Yeah. Remember how... What's it? Eight Brad or whatever? Not Brad. R- Kenneth? Not Kenneth. Uh, Richard. 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 They ate Richard. Hunter. Hunters. This is the alpha type. Oh, yes. yes, As far as I remember, this is the alpha type. I think the official name is what you're seeing there. M-A-121. Master Authority 121 Hunter. And then you got the Tyrant. Ooh, he's kind of... T-002. Oh, I wonder what happened to TOL one. Um, I think you actually do fight one of those. Uh, I think you fight that actually in Resident Evil Zero. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah. They're looking fresh. Look at the guy in the middle. I know. Also, this is this is why you do That's what you do because you can. Act, it's a barcode, and you get a string of numbers. But if you use the slides that I did, it actually sums it up to just this, 8462. 8462. Yeah, and then you got a passcode terminal, and so 
you you think about it. Eight. Ah. Uh, four. Six. Seven. Two. Seven. Eight uh, six I seven mean, five eight, three zero oh, nine. Eight five nine seven. <laughs> and it opens this door. Also, before I forget, because I will. There's a map of the laboratory. I'll take it. You should probably take it. That's a very. I mean, it's not super important, but it it does help you get an idea of everything we got going on here. One time I got a map of the laboratory, and I couldn't read it. We got some imaging equipment. Looks like you can actually use the the Kenneth's film. Hey, Kenneth. We can view it. You want to view it? Remember at the very beginning? Yeah, I want to watch the video. All right. Joseph. No, this wasn't Joseph. This was at the very beginning. Um, we saw we saw a zombie eating him. It was probably this guy. Um, that was kind of scary. That was kind of scary. That and that's what happened at the beginning. That's what we missed. We're done here. Where's Joseph? Where's Joseph? Well, he's uh, he's kind of dead. In the field. In the field the... at the opening movie. Okay, now that I've cleared that room, man, oh man, let me tell you, we got we got some more stuff we gotta do. We're gonna we're gonna run into a new enemy. Is it called the tyrant? It's not called the tyrant. Is it called? Um, it actually wasn't in that head. slide projection. It's the crimson head. It's not. We already seen a crimson head. It's a new enemy. A, a, an emerald head. Um, that that doesn't exist, unfortunately. Um, those brain things. Brain? Oh, liquors? Yeah. That doesn't get introduced until Resident Evil Two. Okay, uh, I'm running out of enemies. Um, that's that's fine. You you I have, I'm, 95% sure you wouldn't have heard of this enemy or seen it. It's Nemesis. It's Resident not Nemesis. That's 3. Resident Evil Three. <laughs> it's for him. He's in this game now. Uh, that's Resident Evil Three. Also, there's Mr. X, who's kind of like the prototype of Nemesis, and he follows no, you in Resident Evil. No, he's not. II. He's Doctor Wily. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, that was also Capcom, so it sort of works. This is what happened in between <laughs> Mega Man and the Mega Man game. He got mad and made I, I, You know, it's funny, the other day I realized we play a lot of Capcom games here on the channel. I, um, we, we totally do. And, and, We're like a Capcom channel. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I'm all it. for it. if Capcom wants to sponsor the channel. I mean, I'd openly just praise Capcom nonstop. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't. I'm like people say, oh, Capcom, blah blah blah. I mean, I'm like Capcom's, Capcom's, kind of cool. Capcom's but then I still work. pretty good. I mean, I enjoy their games. Uh, hell, I still enjoy their games. I want to do Resident Evil 2, like the remake. I, I did Resident Evil 2, by it. the way. A little little plug in for that if you want. A little little. Little uh, back in the what? day. You know, I think I've watched a bunch of that one. You it, played as a. Uh, I Claire. I was all about Ada being Asian and hot. You played as Claire, if I remember. I I did Claire and Leon, but uh, I don't know. I'd well, like I'd like to take you through that, Chaz. All right, let's we'll we'll do it. We'll do okay, it. Okay, new enemy, Chaz. Cockroaches. Uh, you're not completely wrong. I can't see them all. Yeah, the shoot. angle's not great. Well, Killed it. I'm sure. All right. It, oh. it's a, it, it is very insectoid. There's well, another I saw one. There's leg, another one and... coming. There's, there, there it is. Oh, it's a monkey. It's not a monkey. It hops around like one. Oh, you're you're not wrong. This. Allow me to explain it. Kind of oh, soft. God. It's it's called the Chimera. Oh, yeah, uh, it swipes. In the next part, we'll, we'll have a better we'll have a better view of it. I'm sorry that I can't really explain it, but what they did, because it, it very similar to how hunters were created, believe it or not, mm -hmm. where they took a human embryo and they, they spliced it with with like reptilian DNA, that's how you get a hunter. Apparently, yeah. it, it works. Just I don't know how video game logic, story logic, it works. 
Um, well, they they sort of did that with chimeras, but the difference with chimeras is, unlike unlike with reptilian DNA, they took fly DNA. Ew. And I mean, like, if, if you go on the wiki, like, I don't know how accurate that is, but I'm gonna say pretty accurate, considering I would say fans probably wrote in, like, stuff that they heard. Yeah. Um, they, they kidnapped homeless women, Umbrella did this, imp implanted the embryo, and, uh, well, um, I don't think it was good. No. Yeah. Okay, so, moving on, that that's what a chimera is. Kind of gives me vibes of the fly, but I got I gotta end this part soon. So that file was talking about uh, the passcodes and and stuff, and we got the mo disk. You see, the the modus operandi. We got the mo disk, and then we got this right, and it's a security system passcode. It says insert disk twice. Yeah. So you know what we gotta do? Gotta insert the modus operandi disc yeah we get it, it needs mo disc it we actually not. saw this thing by the way <laughs> yes uh so we actually have three modus and we need three for each of those lights as you can see the unfortunate thing is if i had another modus i couldn't insert it into this one right uh basically you have to find two others that you have to find two other boxes and you have to insert modus into those Mm-hmm. And I actually missed one. I wish I had my I wish I had the MO disc, but uh I I ill prepared for it, but that's okay. We have to go back into that room, so Yeah. Slight minor minor detour, but you know, we'll tackle that in the next part because I'm actually gonna end it off in this room. Because lo and behold, we made it to another safe room. Yes. We got we got goodies galore. We got we got we got magnum bullets. We got shotgun shells. We got uh health. I think there's a save rib an ink ribbon right there. We got all sorts of goodies. I'm gonna collect these off screen. Um, yeah, yeah. I can't think of what else to say. Chaz, you got anything? Um, no, actually, not really. Um, the. Don't forget, guys, to uh, press that like button if you want to want Albert Wesker to put on a birthday hat and give Chris the best birthday party in the world. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But if it you will... want to, yeah, you can totally do that. And and you... <laughs> actually, no, wait, better yet, hit that dislike button if you want Albert to do what Chaz just said. Yeah, hit the uh, dislike I wanna, button. I want to see how many dislikes this video can get. I'm gonna dislike my video instead. No, don't, don't. <laughs>